Bunny, oh my god! Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I just kind of got back from like traveling, right? And I feel like I have been like making YouTube videos like on autopilot. Like I don't re remember making any videos ever. It's so weird. And I don't remember the last time I like kind of just sat down and just kind of, um, I don't know, like talked. You know what I mean? Mmm. Do I have a milk mustache? Today actually was so interesting. No, it wasn't. What did I do? It is, what time is it? I keep asking myself all these questions and I'm just so... Ugh. It's 11.34 and I woke up this morning and the sun was like shining directly into my face. And I love that. Like, I love it in the morning. I literally put my bed where it is right now so that the sun... Because it comes up at like... 7.45-ish every day and it shines directly in my face and I just I love that because one it wakes me up without an alarm you know and I feel like that's really that helps me be like some type of productive and two it just I love the way my skin looks in the sun I'm just telling the truth after the sun shined directly into my eyeballs, into my retinas, I woke up, obviously, and I brushed my teeth, and then I went to the gym. Funny story about the gym, though. I just bought pre-workout yesterday. I've never done. I've never done pre-workout. I've never taken pre-workout. I've never taken pre-workout before in my life, and I always hear people like talk about it and like how it affects them and like how it makes them feel and I was like, uh, I guess. Okay, so this is what I got, right? It's not gonna focus. It's Muscle Tech, apparently, and Vapor X5 pre-workout, explosive energy and performance. It's called Miami Spring Break for the flavor, right? Okay. So I don't know how, I don't know anything about fitness at all. And so this like, I don't know how you're supposed to take it, so I just kind of like took a scoop and like, you know, like ate it and just like drank it with water, and it did. In fact, it, it tasted like a like a weird like a diet candy. Like if candy was diet, it tasted like that. That doesn't make any sense. I know it doesn't. Anyway, I took the pre-workout, and it takes like 15 minutes for me to get to the gym, so I took it before I left, and then I went to the gym. Like I, I drove there. Obviously, I didn't walk. I, like, didn't feel anything, like, at all. And I was like, hmm, maybe it's because I drink so much coffee every day, like, this much caffeine is a normal amount of caffeine for me. Like, how much does it have? It has, oh, wow. I took one scoop, right? So it has 190 milligrams of caffeine. I don't know how much caffeine the coffee that it has drink, like, that I drink has in it, but it's gotta be a lot, right? The coffee has no nutritional stuff on the can. So I didn't really feel anything, and I was at the gym already, so I was like, okay, I guess we'll just... And like, halfway, like when I was done, because when I first get to the gym, I I do like the Stairmaster, I do like the steps or whatever, for like five minutes just to get myself in the mood. And um, after I did that, I was like, you know, I still don't really feel anything. And then I started like doing this like chest press machine. And like in the middle of that, I was like, my body started shaking, and I was like, why? My body just felt tingly and kind of weird, like not normal. I was like, oh, what is this? And then I figured, oh, it must be the pre-workout. And I think it was, because now I don't feel like that. I do want to mention though, when I was working out today, I like, I haven't, mind you, I haven't worked out in like maybe a month. Cause I've been traveling so much, I've just been all around the world. Like today was pretty much my first day back in the gym. And so I was like trying to do all these things that I would, would normally do like in my routine. And it was just hard. Let me tell you a story. I went to, when I was in Florida like a week ago, but I went to the gym one time and I hadn't worked out in a while. So when I got to the gym, I was like, oh, like I'm just gonna do like what I normally do back home but here, but in Florida. When I tell you, 
it was the most difficult thing for me to like get through and I got sick afterwards I was like sick afterwards but granted I didn't eat anything beforehand and I never really do I feel like I should start eating before I go but it always makes me nauseous and so I stopped when I was leaving like I was so like nauseous and like sick feeling it was not cool and I couldn't keep my eyes open in the car. I was like, like the sun was beating down on me and I was just like, oh my God, I feel like I'm gonna vomit. I was like, I can't do this. I literally can't do this. And Nat was with me obviously and she was driving. And so we went to like this smoothie shop. I was just like closing my eyes. I was just like laying down because I was physically sick. I was physically nauseated. Like, thinking about food made me want to vomit. Thinking about like moving my body made me want to vomit. And I was like, what's happening to me? I was like, Wow, I go to the gym one time in Florida and I catch COVID. Like, I didn't... I thought I had caught in COVID. Like, that quick. And I was like, mm. um, We go to the smoothie shop and I drink the smoothie that I had ordered and immediately, 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 I was okay. I was like, wow. My body's so dramatic. I was like, that was unnecessary. That was so unnecessary in my body to act like that. Like, it wasn't even me. It was literally my body. It was like, oh my god. It was like, oh, you, you did not have to do that. So, now I'm just like not really doing anything. I'm just watching this show called In the Dark. Also, I need to put away my clean laundry. Yeah. I don't know what this day will bring. We'll see. We'll, d yeah, we'll see. I don't know. But that's my little life update for the moment. <laughs> yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I feel like there's more, but I'm gonna stop because they hate me. I was just sitting here, like, thinking... Well, I was just sitting here thinking, like, if I ever hit a million, like, followers on TikTok, I will literally... I don't know. Like, I wanna... <laughs> I wanna get, like, those balloons. Because I've never done that before. I've never, like, like, celebrated. I always say thank you. Like, I'm like, like, thank you so much, first of all. Like, thank you for even subscribing to me. Like, that's interesting. Like, that's very interesting. Strange, if I'm being honest. Like, I've never really been one to, like, celebrate things like that just because, I don't know. So I kind of want to. Like, if I ever hit a million on TikTok, which I feel like it, I feel like one day I'll get there, but like now, probably not. But if I ever do, I'm literally gonna go to Party City and, like, get balloons. Let's say 1M, obviously. 1 million. Like, I don't want to be... <laughs> yes, I do. Yes, I do. I was about to say, I don't want to be basic, but like, yes, I do. Uh, that would be fun. I just feel like it would be really exciting. I feel like I'm doing a, like, weird interview right now. Like a comfortable interview. Kind of like Oprah or whatever. Like someone asking me, like, how do you feel about um, the weather changing? You know, it's... It's really hard, uh, because it just gets hotter and hotter each year, and um, there's like no solution to it, you know. People say that that the sun is gonna explode, but um, I think it's just gonna fall out of the sky. Like like that. <laughs> that would be so fun. Um, so I just also realized that I did not shower today um i woke up and went straight to the gym and then i came home and i ate food but i never showered so like maybe we should do that also i'm like realizing because i've just been sitting on the couch for like literally an hour just on tiktok i just i need to go get my passport also the sun went away so i like kind of got in this mood where i was like oh i just want to sit on the couch and not do anything like the idea literally it, it crossed my mind that i that I should just watch Disney movies today and not do anything. So I am struggling with that right now. Struggling with being productive or just not doing anything, which is also doing something. My struggles, wow, so horrible. Okay, so it just started raining, which made me, that made me want to stay inside even more. I just, I don't think that's a good idea. No, it is a good idea. It's a great idea, actually. But look at my bed. Do you see that? Fire is catching. And if we burn, I'm kidding. These are all my clean clothes that I need to do. 
like soon, because if I don't, then I never will. I just saw someone walking by. That was weird. But I'm gonna take a shower first. Yeah, I'm gonna take a shower right now. Um, because I didn't do that yet. And it's important. For that, don't know what I'm gonna do yet because, because I'm a spontaneous king. That's why. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Do you guys wanna see something cool though? Like, I, um, just most recently, I just most recently, yesterday actually, got some new bathroom shelves. Why don't we just do a bathroom tour? Because, why not? Even though um, it's like the smallest bathroom, I think I could reach both walls just with my arm. Okay, so when you walk in, right, there's this plant, but there's this nice plant there. And if you look up, here are the shelves that I just put up. I love them. Okay, so listen, I like things to be in a specific way, right? So. I'm gonna explain to you why there's a little gap right here on the shelf. When I turn off the light, then the light from the um, from the ring light on my mirror it shines directly onto the um, like the fragrance bamboo sticks. The light shines directly onto them, and I just think it's the coolest thing. I think it's the coolest thing ever. It's not, but I think it is. So that's why I did that. But I'm very happy with my shelves. I'm very happy with my shelves, and I'm very happy with my plant. That reminds me, let me show you my other shelf. I have recently started, like, getting into tea. So now that I make tea, I had to get this little shelf to hold all my tea things. So I bought matcha and white strawberry tea, and this is like a matcha bamboo stir stick thing. And a plant. Um, but yeah, that's my little tea shelf. Can we just admit that I'm a really horrible YouTuber? Because I... I don't show you anything. I'm sorry. But I'm gonna take my shower now, so... Whoa.